Tonight, TV's original magazine show, live from Sacramento. What a crowd, what a crowd. Isn't this marvelous? <laughs> if this is any indication, Harry, this is going to be the spot in Sacramento. <laughs> That's right. Betty and I are first-nighters. This is the brand new yeah. Laps Unlimited. Used to be right down the street. This is the grand opening, their first official uh, night for business. They were just around the corner just a couple of days ago, and now they're right next door to the uh, famous the Firehouse place? Restaurant. That's you right. You ought to know. The Firehouse Restaurant right across from the back door, Firehouse Alley, right next mm -hmm. to the Clarendon Hotel. I think I did that pretty good. You ought to be able to find it. It's now got a lot of space. And of course, they always have these great new comedians that seem to be coming out every day and that show up on The Tonight Show and things like that. Uh, Jeff Altman is going to be joining us tonight mm -hmm. live, and we have another impressionist. That's right, a guy uh, uh, also named Jeff. And they also named Jeff. And we've got uh, magician, all kinds of things. But first. Okay, but first. See, that's the normal thing we always say on this show, but that first. Means be quiet, Betty. It's my turn to talk. <laughs> Steve LaRosa says that there are four doctors in Mercy San Juan Hospital who have been causing quite a stir lately, and it's all because of rock and roll. And if this sounds rather curious, let's all take a look. Dr. Henry Chang, who came to this country from Hong Kong in 1959, studied medicine at UCLA and has been an internist with Mercy Hospital for five years. Dr. Bob Saunders, also an internist, has been with the hospital since 1978. Dr. Gary Schlegel, seen here performing minor surgery, has been a podiatrist with the hospital for two years now. And we caught Dr. David Sox, another internist, in the emergency room, seeing to the admission of one of his patients. So there they are, four local physicians, well-respected in the medical community, going about their daily rounds without a great deal of fanfare. But like the fabled Dr. Jekyll, a strange transformation is about to take place. Doc Rock. This musical medical association began a year ago when these four guys performed at the after game dance following the annual Mercy Cage Classic basketball game. The proceeds from both events go to the scholarship fund at Mercy High School. And because it is such a worthy cause, these physicians were happy to let down, or should I say grease up, their hair for one night. Dr. Chang, as we mentioned, spent his formative years in Hong Kong. But even halfway around the world, rock and roll was having a profound effect on his life. When I was a little boy growing up in Hong Kong, before I knew a word of English, I knew how to sing many of the rock and roll songs, in fact, many Elvis songs. In fact, you can say that I learned to speak English through Elvis Presley. And that's why I speak with a southern accent, <laughs> even though I have never been to the South. <laughs> Dr. David Sox, a master with a stethoscope in hand who couldn't tell you a year ago which end of a guitar was which, has quickly become somewhat of a virtuoso. I was with Doc Rock uh, last year uh, doing vocals and uh, comb. I've moved up to guitar, vocals, comb, and uh, marachas this year. <laughs> Highly experienced, world traveled. Uh, how long have you played the guitar, dude? Uh, three months. Dr. Bob Saunders, who's the newest member of the group, made up his mind to join when, as a spectator at last year's performance, he was overwhelmingly impressed. They sounded pretty good, and when I saw the girls rush the stage, I knew this was for me. <laughs> Dr. Gary Schlegel, the only group member with any real professional musical experience, regards all this as the zenith of his musical career. I've been on staff at the hospital now for two years, and uh, the first year I was known as Dr. Schlegel. This year I'm known as Dr. Goldpants. 
Now, as you can imagine, the whole hospital is a Twitter with anticipation of this encore performance of Doc Rock. In the meantime, like the semi-pros that they are, intensive rehearsals will be taking place on a semi-regular basis. Kind of semi whenever and wherever. Down me dooby down, 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 down. Down me dooby down, wah, 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 wah. For a weeknight, I'm Steve LaRosa. Now remember that the Mercy Cage Classic, which is a basketball game followed by a dance featuring Doc Rock, that's tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. That's tomorrow night at the American River College Gym. And you can get those tickets either at the hospital or at the basketball game. So you know, there's a lot of strange things. Well, this, hi there. This man in black. Your name, sir? My name is Jean-Pierre. I am a magician coming from Switzerland. Oh, well, welcome. You, do you will have some pleasure to see a little magic oh, trick? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're a table magician. You go from yes, table to table. Yes. Oh, OK. OK. okay. Show those folks yes. right there. OK. Let's start. Can you select one card, please? I'd love to. OK. But you don't show it to me. The old Pick a card yes. routine. Okay. okay. Show it. To you show it to the television. Okay. Show it. Show it to oh, the TV. to the TV. Okay. It's done. You didn't see that. No. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, you put it in. Right back and there. And you have to think about your card. Yes. Yeah? Okay. And Wait. now I make a little magic pass, and I can find your card. Yes. Okay. okay. We'll okay. see. Okay. Here. We'll Is see. it your card? No, that is not. That's not it. Sure not? Positive. Okay. So I take a little uh, magic soul. <laughs> you you cannot see that, mm -hmm. but you can uh, listen it. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. You see? Oh, I do. And hear. now I want to ask you: Can you return the card which was not your card? Yes. Okay. You want you me to turn, turn it? it? Okay, we'll turn it. Uh, Look at that. Heavens to see leaping lizards. How do you do things like that? Oh, uh, a little slate <laughs> of hands. Magic yes. salt, Harry. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, John. We'll be back with more Laughs Unlimited in just a moment. Thank you, Jean-Pierre. I'm Gene Jeremia. My family has been building award-winning pools like this one for three generations throughout Northern California. We take great pride in creating custom-designed pools at prices you can afford. There's a pool for you at Jeremia, designed and built to the highest professional standards. So isn't it time to make the pride of our family the pride of yours? Jeremia Pools, winner of more national awards than any other pool company in America. You see it, now you don't. Here you have it, here you won't. Oh, dry it, Pepsi, one small calorie. Now you see it, now you don't. That great Pepsi taste. Diet Pepsi won't go to your waist. So now you see it, now you don't. Here's the current winning number in the Pepsi Challenge TV cash game. Watch for a winner every Thursday. True Value Hardware Stores are cooking up a great value on this quality West Bend tea kettle. It's now just $6.88 as their April bargain of the month. For this low price, you get a gleaming two and a half quart stainless steel kettle with solid copper bottom that heats water fast and a trigger operated spout that lets you pour without touching anything hot. You'll enjoy all your favorite instant foods and beverages with this West Bend Whistling Tea Kettle. It's now just $6.88 at True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers displaying this banner. Hayes manager Billy Martin grew up right here in West Berkeley. Mr. and Mrs. Ed Sims remember. Billy was a good boy, a quiet boy. He stayed out of trouble. He was a shy child who was polite to everybody. I remember he used Mother, to Mother, don't remember too good anymore. Billy Ball, it's a different brand of baseball. 